everybody, I'm Lego Separate and I'm here to provide inspiration what to build with Lego bricks. Today we're doing a 3 mini mini build where I try to make a Lego creation in under 3 minutes. And today, well, I've been inspired to do something from the kitchen and this is what I came up with. This is a giant, well, <laughs> a much more um, work style uh, sink. Yeah, that's what you call them. And I will show you how to make this, and I will be introducing the pieces as I go along. So feel free to pause the tendency of this video to see what's going on. So without further ado, let's start the clock! Okay, the clock is ticking, so let's get started. So we're going to start off with a 2x6 standard base plate, and we're going to be going along as we can go along. So, on top we're going to be attaching these side attachment brick plates, half brick, half plate, as I always say, and on the sides, uh, these 1x2 uh, standard base plates over here. Now, as you might know, that whenever you're making anything for your homes in LEGO City, you want to pack as much in as possible. So, uh, first of all, we need this grill element. This is going to be for our sink, a 1x2 standard brick. I'm using this light green over here, and well, what comes next? So a one by two standard base plate back here behind here, and well, what else is there? A two by two standard base plate. I'm losing it here. And on top of them, we're going to be adding these poolside pieces. I like to call them in this formation. This is going to hold any stuff that we're going to be washing or drying and on the sides just normal standard bricks now the difference with this being that we are not going to be using bricks to border this off we're going to be using actual tiles which is something new so you just stick the tiles onto these and above you can see that the sink is hermetically closed or sealed and then that it just what's left is the decoration so i'm going to be going all traditional I'm going to have two taps. I'm just going to be using this fire instigusha pieces like these ones in grey to have two taps and we're going to even add a bit more effect by using these studs, single round studs as a hot tap and a cold tap. Of course everyone nowadays uses one tap, a mixer tap, but I'm going to go all traditional and use two taps and just some uh, jumper plates on the sides here so we can attach some accessories and we are going to make an accessory and it's a really quick and simple one a dark green translucent tube piece and one of these mini peg holder pieces and we're just going to attach that on top and that's our washing up liquid bring back the sink put the washing up liquid aside and there we've done it so there we have it our sink is complete and because i use the technique of doing uh, bordering it with tiles it is very very small so I will be able to put it anywhere in my house with still a good amount of space left and I hope you will have enough space in your house as well we've got the two taps here the place for putting uh, stuff aside and I have unfortunately Johnny here who is gonna be doing some washing up so I've got some knives and forks over I'm gonna stuff some in the sink in the lovely bubbles over there and I'm gonna put some aside on here so you can see how I do it and he's going to be getting up, he's washing up liquid. Going to be doing some cleaning. Let's clean these dirty knives and forks. <laughs> Forgot the name there. But that's the end of our video. I hope to show you more in the future. I hope that has inspired you. And until next time, happy building. <laughs>